this zeal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. Yeah. And let everyone that nameth the name of Yahweh depart from iniquity. Bring that, bring the first part out. First part? Yeah. That, one more time. God. It says, Never, nevertheless, the foundation of Yahweh standeth sure. Yeah, so the, uh, yeah, the foundation, everything that uh, Yahweh built is going to stand, like as far as the earth, you know, that's that's not going to never be done away with unless he says so, you know, but uh, that's going to be here forever, you know, the, the, the Israelite, 12 tribes of Israel, his people is going to be here forever. What else yes, he says? Because it is, because it says the foundation. Of the Yahweh. Yeah. We are we are his foundation. That's right. Everything that he basically built is his. It's, but he's gonna do away with this. But yeah. he, that foundation that stands sure is pretty much us. So what's that stuff they talking about? They always saying, Oh, uh the Israelites have done away with. Okay. Or the, you know, that shit that they be saying. Uh, Hold on. Yeah. People from the Bible, ancient times are done away with. People are crazy. I was gonna say nothing is ever done away with, it still just keeps going. Right. What's the other part? This no. uh, Thank you. It says, having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. Yeah, so the Lord knows who, who, who his people is, you know? Yeah, the Lord knows who his people is. He's not going to deny his, his people, you know? I got one. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 17. Ephesians. Oh, Ephesians. Four, four, seventeen. Yeah. The Lord knows who, who's his, but uh, his people, we don't know. The majority of the Israelites living here in America don't know who, who, who they are, you know? Because our nationality was stripped away from us. So that, that in it alone will make us the children of Israel. Because we the only uh, people, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the only people that uh, have been stripping our uh, lives away, our nationality away. 4.17? Yeah. This is Ephesians 4.17. This I say therefore, and testify in the Lord, that ye henceforth walk not as other G Gentiles walk. Yeah, because we were, we were, gent all of us were Gentiles before we woke up to the truth, you know. And that's, all of us were Gentiles. We had to come back to learning all over that we were Israelite, you know. We had to come back to the law statutes and commandments. So all of us were Gentiles. You know, you got the confusion of faces, you know. We, we scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, you know. So starting with, uh, starting with, uh, if you can receive it, John the Baptist, which was Elijah, he uh, he started that way, you know, and brought brought us back to the fathers. What's that scripture? The hearts to the fathers, to the children. He brought us back to the father. Starting with uh, starting with Abba Bevan, and then all the way down on down to the apostles. You know. So all of us were Gentile. Yep. You know? You know that's good. The father. You turn the fathers, the hearts to the children, to the fathers. Well, uh, Elijah will uh, turn the heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All of us were Gentile. Up until that time. Be and that's a prophecy within itself. That's a prophet. That 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 prophecy already happened with uh, Abba Bevan. You know? Yeah, it's right here. You got it. Mm -hmm. This is Malachi 4 6. And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children, and the hearts of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. See? That's that curse, that, uh, that nuclear fire. You know? That's the that's the end, the so-called end of the world, and we at the we in the last days, you know. 
we in the last days. So that prophecy that had happened, starting with Albert Bivens, you know, he turned the, the, the children to the fathers, let us know that we were Israelites, and then everything else fell in place. You know, it's beautiful. And then when yeah. you look at it, it's ch children uh, meaning even more than one. And that's all, that's the whole, that's the awakening of the elect in general. Yeah. But starting with Abba Bivens. Yeah. You know? That's beautiful. That's a beautiful thing. When you go to Jeremiah 5 and 28, it, it talks about the children, the fatherless children. That's going into uh, uh, the two thirds of our people. They're not going to get it, man. Hey, you ain't had to get it. I was just. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I, I, we were, we were, we were fatherless, because the Most High He turned out, He turned His back on us, because we were, we were, uh, so-called uh, bad children at one time, you know. Okay. Yeah, I mean, adulterous children. Adu yeah, yeah. So just like a woman, how she cheats on, uh, if she, you know, go out and sleep with another man, well, that's adultery. Thanks. So we did that with the Lord. So the Lord made us feel it. You know, he gave it to, he, hey, he hit us hard, you know? I mean, just to look at our people in the state that they're in, you can't tell me that it's not a, a, a heavenly power controlling it, you know? A heavenly source, you know? That shows the power of the Most High. Hey, uh, uh, get me the first chapter. And that's a power you don't wanna, you don't wanna play with, you know? Like, when, when, when certain things, when judgment goes, when ju and then it's the thing, judgment is gonna start with the house of Israel. So it's gonna start right right with us Israelites, you know? That's why that's why we, we try our best to be on our P's and Q's. And we basically, we gotta have, we, we, we beg the, the most high in the sun for mercy. Cause that's what we need, we need mercy right now, you know? Yeah, when that scripture says judgment begin with the house of Yahweh, when you keep reading, uh, you know, the Lord judged uh, all of us. Yeah. And then it said, what then is it for the ones who, who obey not the Lord? So the Lord, when you when you go back to the judgment too, where was it David and the curses, you know? The Lord, you don't want the curse of the Lord, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I'd rather deal, I'd rather uh, take punish, punishment you know, from one of the Akims or whatever, yeah. revving in a deal with the Most High, because when you when you you got these guys talking about, oh, I don't want to uh, the apostles or this that or the uh, elders or the uh, leaders of your uh, camp or whatever can't uh, judge you or uh, discipline you. Who said that? You know, just oh, it, oh they they had the spirit of yeah, don't judge me. Yeah, okay. but uh. If you got that spirit, you need to get rid of that spirit because you don't want the, the, the Lord to bring his judgment down on you because it's going to be harsh. As a matter of fact, it's going to be terrible, you know? Because the Lord is, is terrifying, you know? Well, yeah, uh, was it Psalms, was it 47? It said the Lord Most High is a terrible king of all, all the earth. Mm -hmm. All them punishments, you know? And you don't go to no goddamn hell. Yeah. That's right. That's a bull BS lie. Yeah, that uh, hell doctrine. <laughs> you <laughs> you know? burn forever. Yeah, I, that don't even make sense. Like, yep. uh, we all spirits. We are, we are, we we're, we're pure energy. You know, so that doesn't make sense. Fire, you can't burn fire with fire. Right. Right. I mean, that's just too. That that's a. Uh, it just doesn't make that's sense. Moral. Yeah. And then you got the hell. And that was used to design to, to further enslave you people, you sheep to go uh, follow the Roman Catholicism. Yeah. And then they broke off and had different branches in these black churches. That was to control you Negroes. Yep. Latinos oh, and it, yep. I'm going to hell. But yep. the damn niggas out there blowing each other away. They don't believe it, but they go to church. Yep. 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 You get yeah. them, uh get them Catholics into them professionals and put that money into the church. Yep. Yeah. Professing their sins and scared of uh, purgatory or hell. And this is the thing. Esau, see, they, they are at one point, the nigga, oh, I'm going to hell. But Esau out there blowing you niggas away, hanging you. Yep. Where is his judgment at? Where is his hell at? 
uh, uh, Christian uh, based uh, society. Uh, they, they blow down the Twin Towers or whatever. Mm -hmm. Then they go across seas and start blowing up people. Yeah, where's that judgment at? And they don't go to hell. Yeah, they get a pass. Well, the white man can kill as many people as he want. He get a pass. Yep. You know, he go overseas and bomb nations. And then they don't do, they don't go in, when they go into us uh, in uh, countries, they don't do combat, hand to hand combat. They, they just shoot. drop a bomb down yep. on you, you know? But we hate. Yeah. We a hate group. <laughs> The U.S. I'm, military is the biggest hate group. Man. Right. What you talking about? They killed uh, kids, children, and women. You should have saw how much uh, it was. I was watching a documentary on, uh, I believe it was Iraq. Right. Back in the early 2000s. When they was going over there, they was dropping bombs on them people. Yep. They were tearing you Arabs up. Yep. Uh, what's that? Ismail. Or Arab. Well, one of them they, Is Ishmael and uh, yeah. Elam and all that. E Esau was tearing turn, uh, turn them yeah. Arabs up, man. Yep. Still suffering from that. Their children, by them dropping them bombs, uh -huh. a lot of their children being born deformed with cleft lips and stuff. Oh, like you talking that. about Hiroshima and Nagasaki, you know? What I, they did in China, no, I, I in Japan? No, over Western Air too, over uh, Iraq too. Yeah, dropping them, yeah. them, them uh, toxic bombs. Mm -hmm. uh, that's true. What Wait. about Chernobyl? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Huh? I ain't down with that. Chernobyl, the, the Russian incidents where they melt down to that power plant. Oh, mm. okay, okay. And they, they, <laughs> man, they say hundreds of thousands of people still suffer from that. Yep. You can't Dang. even go over there now. Uh -huh. you, you need what you call a, a Geiger counter to register the uh, how much radiation is being put out. Wow. And it can't it hit the atmosphere and it's dropping on us. So now our cancer rate is real high. Everybody got cancer. Esau gets a pass, though. He gets a pass. <laughs> He's not a hate group. <laughs> Yeah. Man, you so-called Negroes better wake up, boy. But the only pe the only people that's going to wake up is the elect, is the elect out of, and, and on this side. That's the only people that's going to wake up. Because uh, if, it, if it was left up to you uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that love the so-called white man, we would never get out of here. We would stay in slavery. It the raw that bad. Yeah, the raw ain't that bad. It, yeah. The Rump Towns, the Oppenheimers, the Dupont, they'll rule over us forever. Put and y'all wouldn't have no problem with it. Those devils right there, they might seem all cool. Mm -hmm. You wait till this shit wraps up. Mm -hmm. hey. They got AKs, they got all kinds of shit ready, man. Oh, yeah. be down. Yeah. You wait. Yeah. Yeah. They ready. Yeah. They got gun cabinets. Yep. Underground, the little bunkers, bunkers and stuff. And yeah. Yeah. They, they getting Food ready. But yeah. well, meanwhile, you Christians, you're walking up and down the street like nothing's going on. They loving everybody. Oh, they loving everybody. Love. I, I was watching a clip, right, where uh, <laughs> that, uh, that guy, see, he, he the turn on you see, that guy, did Edomites turn on you? I don't know whether he's an Edomite or a Jake. He could be evil or, but the, the guy, the pastor, the pastor told the other Jake, oh, I, I don't love you. I don't, you know, Jake always want to love kiss Edomites. Oh, ass. pastor, uh, uh, what's his, um, um, I can't remember his name. But he, yeah, you know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, the, the video I put up. Yeah, That's yeah, the, um, I was watching that. Yeah. What's his name? Um, pa the, the pastor, pastor that was uh, uh, said, I don't love you. Oh, shit. That video I did. I forgot his name. Yeah, I know you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Jake always want to kiss Esau's ass. You know, he straight up told, look, I don't I don't love you. With, with K-Dub and them. Um, yeah. yeah. I, I can't remember his name. Yeah. Oh, uh, 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 Stephen Anderson. Stephen Anderson. Stephen Anderson, right? Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and hell, you know Stephen Anderson. <laughs> he funny. Though. I don't love you. I don't love you. But this, this these Edomites will tell Jake to their face. I don't. That see that Christian, um, that Christian uh, slash Jehovah's Witness type environment. That'll have you loving your enemy. Why Esau is just steady spitting in your face? You know, kicking you in your ass. You know? And the Lord don't get down like that. The Lord is about payback. The Lord is about justice. The Lord is about, the Lord is angry with you people. The Lord don't get down like that. You know? Esau smacking you in your face. And uh, they use that a lot in slavery. Turn of a cheek. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Turn of a cheek. They're still using it in the church. Devil going, right. pow! <laughs> and you be like, all right. Hey. Uh, but the nigga woman ain't turning the other cheek. Mm -mm. She putting the other cheek up in the air, getting popped by your neighbor. Oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> the other cheek or both cheeks? And then uh, Jake, see, uh, 
The rules only apply for Esau because when a Jake 